Bridges in that positive frame of mind. Bridges such a handful inside lays it in. It's a five to two start. Bottom three in layups missed. They missed 54% of their layups here in this young season. Zoo trying to work inside. Stripped on the way up by Bridges. A whistle would have foul. Listening to some of the quotes after the game, they believe that was the breakthrough game that Zoo hadn't been playing his best as Bridges knocks in a three. Second year with the Clippers. He likes the L.A. air out here. LaMelo again! Welcome home, my friend. The shot just hasn't fallen for him yet. Misses there again. Third effort for Charlotte. Bridges, a great look at a three. It is good. Kings were 22 of 44 from above the arc. As Bridges takes it over to Oubre. Strong drive against Kennard, and he floats it up and in. Poor spacing inside for Oubre Jr. and the Hornets, and the Clippers able to force the turnover. Man drives on Bridges, goes to the rim, misses a whistle and a foul. He'll go to the line for two. On ways to get to the line. He was helping with the rebounding, setting up plays, especially for Terrence Mann. He has just been a Swiss Army knife for the Clippers here this season. Rebound by Bledsoe. I was watching saying this guy's taking almost 20 a game. And sure enough, he's he's averaging almost 18 field goal attempts per game. Turned down a $60 million extension in the offseason from Charlotte. Kind of rolled the dice on himself where he could get $100 million next summer. And led by as many as 13. Ball quickly in the corner to Bridges. Holds the finish. It doesn't help. But Hartenstein reels in the loose ball. His second rebound. You can see all the room that Zoo is giving Plumley. Meanwhile, Bridges, you can't give him an inch. He will take it all the way and lay it in. I'm sure players feel that it's not exactly the same field. Tough pass to field for Yavita Zubac. Plumley overthrows Rozier. So the two teams swap turnovers once again. They scored him 24 to 13, as the Czar pointed out. Charlotte had 39 first quarter points. George picked up by Rozier. Tries to feed inside to Hartenstein. A tough pass to field. Good defense by Charlotte. Bridges the other way. An underheaded pass to a high riser, Nubre Jr. And he climbs to the iron and flushes it in. I said, why the difference, you know, as it changed things? And he said, no, I'd say it's the familiarity of the players with what we did last year. Tinkering here and there a little bit. Because we'll need that same defensive presence here in the second half. Bridges misses on a good look. Clippers get the rebound, looking to add to their three-point lead. It is starting to pay off, by the way, Zoo now with ten points and four rebounds. Bridges swivels down the lane to the rim with the right hand. No. It's Batum with the rebound, and the Clippers leading by four. Hornets quickly recover, and the defense recoils for the Clippers, but not in time for Bridges to get a wide-open look. Clippers get the rebound, leading by two. Out to Rozier for three. Bridges fights for the loose ball. Ball in the corner for three. Hayward with the tap. No, a whistle on a third effort. A foul for Charlotte. He could be any position he really wanted to be. He makes good on the first of two free throws. It'll be possession as well. And Bridges four of nine here tonight now with 15 points, three rebounds and a couple of assists. George picked up by ball, gets into the paint. Batum, a quick catch and shoot three. The degree of difficulty off the charts for that one. He did well just to get it off late in the clock. Another great job by Doc Rivers. Clippers out in front by four. Bledsoe from the wing to the lane, challenging Bridges at the peak of his leap. It's knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. Kevin Willis, Bud Webb. He was always upset that there was never a, a play call for number 25. He, he lamented that with me several times. He blames you for that. Hayward for three. It's good. It's a one-point lead. Hartenstein roams the paint. He's got the unenviable task of slowing down Miles Bridges. Bridges gets downhill, gets to the rim. Tough shot made. Tough by Hartenstein. Another nice rebound by Mann. The leading scorer in the NBA that plays as hard as he does at the other end of the floor. Well, they've got a guy that's not in uniform. 16 giveaways for the Clippers. It's led to 20 Hornet points. Clippers have forced 13 turnovers, 19 points off of the miscues as Bridges dials it in just below the foul line. Five-point Clipper lead. The 80 to 74 Clippers by six. Bridges sets his feet, unleashes a three, halfway down with a rebound, batted over to Nicholas Batum, and now Terrence Mann runs the show. And then he still 
finishes off the play. He just makes things happen. Bridges inside. Over to Oubre Jr. Great closeout by Man. Better shot by Oubre Jr. Hardenstein. Down the lane. Tied up on the way up. A whistle and a foul. And he'll strut to the stripe for a couple of free throws. The fourth and final frame. Clippers looking to keep their winning streak rolling. Last oh. coming out of the timeout. I'd say Miles Bridges feels just fine. What a thunderous finish. Hornets win the tap. They'll get a fresh 24. Toss the tap. One by Charlotte. Hornets lead by one. 20 giveaways for the Clippers. Rozier back to Bridges. Misses on the tough shot inside. Jackson has the loose ball. Here come the Clippers. A much needed basket by the Clippers. They're two for eight here in the fourth quarter. Rozier has struggled all season from distance. He is not struggling anymore. You don't have to get it all back with one shot. You've got plenty of time to chip away at it. Bridges denied by Zhu. Recovered by Zhu. Now the momentum has shifted. Clippers by two. Bridges inside. No rebound. Oh, taken by Zhu. Man tripped up. Like the first 10 games or so that I've seen here with the Clippers have been well officiated. The toss and tap. Clippers win the tap. They have it with a fresh 24 and a four-point lead. We are in clutch minutes as defined by the NBA. A five-point game with less than five minutes to play. The Hornets have struggled in moments like this. The Clippers have thrived. Can they continue to do it here? It's almost a full carcass. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You know, if the Hornets don't score again. What a performance defensively for the Clippers. Bridges down the lane to the rim and in. First field goal in six minutes. Clippers by a dozen. Clippers look to keep the winning streak alive. And for the first time this year with the win, will be over 500. Now the Hornets opened up four and one. But are